Hey, good morning, everybody. If you're not following this lady on Facebook, Brenda Gannett, she's a great cook. And this recipe came up, and I thought I'd try it. I still don't understand how you bake biscuits at 180 degrees, but this morning, we're going to make it, we're going to try it, and we're going to see what happens. Um, hang on, I, I done forgot to clean the spatula, right? I always want to start with something clean. Ah! I'll tell you, her humor is something else. She's got a book out. She was just on the Huckabee program. I'm, you know... I'm a, I'm a fan. I really am. So anyway, these are simple biscuits. Calls for a cup of flour. Should I have a little bit more than a cup? Calls for a teaspoon. Sorry. That's as close as I get. Of baking powder. Okay. I, I tend to forget to put lids and stuff back on and put things away. So do it right away I don't have to worry about it right now this is the magic part this is this is cool so you got that in there a little salt I don't use as much salt as they say because I'm not a salt person half a cup of milk hopefully I can measure this right up a little bit more than a half a cup No problem, right? <laughs> and get this. Two teaspoons of mayonnaise. Hey, <laughs> Woo, that's strong mayo. Mix it all together. I know Brenda on her show, she does things a lot with her hand. I'm, I'm going to try making her biscuits once. This this recipe came up. I thought I'd try this, this one first. And then I'll do Brenda's in a couple days. She has a, a flour bowl that she puts everything in the... See? Told you. I forgot to put the cap back on the milk. And yes, I have my bluegrass going in the morning. Now this is kind of wet, so, but here's the other magical part. Put them in a muffin tin. Hey, what do I know? That's what it says to do. It says it should make five. And that's just about what it looks like it'll make. Or six. Yes, it's crazy here in the morning. We have a bird that likes to, uh, chatter all morning long so what we're hoping to do is to do these and hold the camera on because I don't know how to do the editing on YouTube or even with my photographs now this is gonna make looks like it's gonna make six and I am gonna fill the cups full I'll show you here in just a minute. I know I know enough not to push it down and make it stick to the sides. So we're going to see exactly how this works. All right. It tastes right. I know I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the wrong thing, right? I'm going to reuse my finger, but I'm the only one in the house, man. I eat all this stuff. Casey. All right. We got them in the tin. You're going in the oven. 180 degrees, 15 minutes. I'll check right back with you. So we're uh, <clears throat> five minutes into the baking and, uh, like I said, I don't know how to edit, so I figured, well, if I tap every once in a while, and uh, 
keep that going. I won't have to edit at all. We'll see them when they come out. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are, oh, we're a little more than halfway through, and uh, time for a little tidbit of information, right? Get this one. Thought for the day, no matter where you are, or where you go, there you are. <laughs> Here I am in the kitchen. Well, okay, it's uh, getting close. Oh, actually, I have this thing set wrong. I guess I should have had my glasses on because it's only been 10 minutes. And uh, it just buzzed, so I'm going to reset it for another five. And I just took a peek in there, and they're not done. So I may have to go out for breakfast this morning. It's actually, it's, uh, oh, I don't know. It's probably 9.30. And uh, I was thinking about going fishing. You know, I'm retired. <laughs> I do what I want, go where I want, see what I want. So we're going to wait five more minutes, and we'll get right back to you. Hey, and, you know, while we wait... I uh, started growing things already. These are my tomatoes. You can see which way they were facing the window, right? Those are tomatoes. My okra starting to come up. I've gotten kind of earthy, I guess. I guess that's what they call it. But, uh, yeah. Hang on, I got something else to show you. Actually, two things. This one, I'm growing from apple seeds. So they're coming along quite nicely. But I want to show you this one. This is uh, an aloe vera plant. I've never grown one before. Um, I have some pretty good plants going as it is. Would love to show you, but I don't want to show you my messy kitchen either. So, like, I, I do a lot of... Uh, a lot of little plants all over the house. I'm, I'm growing roots in this one. I don't know if you can see them. I got about six or seven of these started. And uh, I put them in potting soil and then uh, I give them away. But let me tell you about this aloe vera. Let me water it before I forget. So one of these came from my granddaughter Charlotte. From a plant she had. And the other one came from my daughter... Not her mother, not Charlotte's mom. Um, that was my son's daughter, Charlotte. And my youngest daughter, Chrissy. The other aloe vera came from her plant that she's had for 12, 15 years. So we'll see what happens there. Okay, so we're still waiting on the biscuits. Now you see what I'm doing. This is what happens when you're retired. You're busier when you retire than when you were working. But... A whole hell of a lot less stress. I play my bluegrass music. I got my rooster on the porch. He wakes me up every morning. I'm good to go. I got my coffee. I got my French press. I'm doing my coffee cup chronicles. If you haven't seen those, you ought to. And, um, you know, I do some pretty good shopping. Um, I just bought this dark chocolate Mrs. Richardson's. You're never going to guess. This is about four bucks. Look, look, look at the price on there. 90, 99 cents. How did I get it for 99 cents? Well, it was on sale because it was close to the manufacturer date of being out of. Look, folks, those products are still good. Here we go. Let me take a look. Not quite, but real close. So I'm going to reset it for about three more minutes. Um, anyway, it's real close to the manufacturer date. Those products are still good. If you get them and use them right away, why not? Um, same thing. Key lime pie. 69 cents. I'll be making this uh, sometime later today. Anyway, we'll get back to you shortly. Take me home. I can't sing. By the way, folks, this is what happens when you leave a pan on the stove with water. 
I'm too cheap to buy a humidifier, I guess. So every morning, there's my timer again. Every morning, I put on this little pan of water. I do my coffee in my French press, as I told you. And uh, then I forget the pans on there. You know, I, I run it so that uh, I can get some moisture in the air. Oh, they're, they're, they smell good, but they're close. A couple more minutes. I, I poke the top and hang on. Butter. Parquet. Butter. Parquet. Butter. Parquet. How about them stupid advertisements we learned as kids? Man, something else. Use real butter, folks. I bought this little butter dish. Um, really cool. Swiss Pro. I love it. Works perfect. Oh, two sticks of butter is all you fit in it. And uh, I usually make hot rolls and buttered eggs, uh, homemade hot rolls and soft boiled eggs on Sunday. I didn't do it this Sunday. I, I decided I'd go fishing. Ha! Go fishing. Sure, why not? Anyway. The tops of these biscuits quite aren't done, so it's a little bit more than 15 minutes. And 200, I, I put it back up to about 250 on the oven. And uh, I think they'll be okay. Got my mom's hot pads here that she crocheted years ago. Aren't they great? Still got them. I've, I've had to wash them a few times. That's what they're looking like. So we're just going to let them brown for another couple minutes, and uh, we'll get right back to you. All right. Let's see how they're doing now. I'm going to check this out. Well, they're not brown. But uh, let's see if we can get a good picture of them. Yeah. Looks like they came out all right. All right, there we go. I'll take the smallest one. Wow. Nice and light. There we go. Bad lighting this morning. I was hoping the sun would help us, right? Oh, here we can back up. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Light, fluffy, pulls apart real easy. A little bit of butter. Give it just a second to melt, right? Mmm. Oh, wow. Definitely a good biscuit. A little different than a biscuit. Shape of a muffin. I'm going to I'm going to... <laughs> hot. Well, of course it's hot, Don. You just took it out of the oven. Always remember to turn the oven off. Wow. That's good. So, moral of the story, experiment. Have fun. So, I'm going to go get ready to go fishing. These are going with me. I'm out of eggs or else out of bowls of eggs to take with me. I got some cheese string. Thank you, Chrissy. And uh, I got apples. I was given a Nice bag of apples through New York Heroes, Western, WMY, Western New York Heroes Incorporated. Um, so, y'all enjoy your day. We'll see how soon this gets on to the uh, Facebook page. It's crazy, because I got Coffee Cup Chronicle that's just as long this morning. But, that's the way it is. Don't want to watch? Turn it off. Y'all have a great day.